guys, and welcome to my brand new Let's Play. This is going to be the Disney Legacy Challenge, or Disney Princess Legacy Challenge, whatever you want to call it. But, um, basically, I know you guys uh, voted for the other challenge, other than the Legacy, but, um, what I didn't realize was I did have a challenge picked out, but it doesn't exactly work in The Sims 4 quite yet. I thought it did, but it actually doesn't. So for the time being, we're doing a legacy challenge, but I'm putting a twist on it so it's not just the regular old-fashioned legacy challenge that you're seeing all over the place right now, which would be fine, but um, I just kind of wanted to do a little bit something different in the meantime. So um, if you don't know who I am, hello, my name is Sasha, and uh, you can call me Fancy. A lot of people do that. <laughs> and um, I play The Sims pretty strictly what it is right now. It could spread in the future to other games, but for now it's just strictly Sims. And um, I'm going to go ahead and get the rules for you. Not for the entire Legacy Challenge because that, that could take a long time. I will leave the links for both rules in the description for the regular Legacy Challenge and for the Disney Princess one. And um, basically we follow the rules of the Legacy Challenge, but we have some strict guidelines to follow through each generation. So I actually really like it. And each generation has a theme with, um, I think it's just Disney princesses or like the girls of Disney. I'm pretty sure that's all it is. Because the, uh, the one of The Sims 3 had Disney like movies and this one has Disney princesses. So the first one is Snow White. And um, we have to, the well, the our main home chick has to be a girl, obviously, and um, we have to have seven children. Seven dwarves, seven children, which that to me sounds like a nightmare. And then um, it says each child must have one bad trait, for example, like gloomy or uh, mean or you know, something like that. Um, each child must have the same baby daddy. I love these rules. I love how they're written. Each child my bad. Each child must complete their aspiration and or uh, get an A in school. We'll have to figure out which one of those is easier. Probably the school one. And uh, Snow, or your Sim, uh, may never answer the door to strangers or talk to elderly women. So uh, if you've seen Snow White, which I'm sure most of you have, then you, you kind of understand where that's coming from. So, um, pretty awesome. And then you also have to pick a six, I can't say this word, I'm sorry, succession law. And that just basically describes who is going to be eligible for being the next heir. And I'm just going to go ahead and go with equality because then we don't have to worry about if it's a boy or a girl. That kind of just takes a little bit of the stress off of me. And okay, if you've never seen a legacy challenge before, I'm just going to go ahead and explain something, and you're going to be wondering why we're living on this blank, humongous lot. So, in the Legacy Challenge, you kind of start off as a bit of a hobo. And I'm going to go ahead and go into this lot so you can see what we're working with. It's a whole lot of nothing. And, um, introduce my sim. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, music. This is our sim. Isn't she wonderful? Her name is Sabrina Gray. And um, I thought the last name was kind of ironic because, I mean, I know her clothes are kind of gray, but, like, she is very colorful, in my opinion. Like, her hair and her makeup. I love her. I think she's so cute. And this is a new custom hair that is, uh, I don't remember who made it, to be honest. But, I mean, you can just search for The Sims 4 CC hair, and I'm sure you'll find it. There's some other ones, too, but I really like this one very long and I had to do light purple because um I'm obsessed and I go over her traits really quickly and then I'll get back into why we're on this giant lot full of absolutely nothing all right so I'm still learning where all this is to be honest all right so she is a perfectionist she's creative romantic and a collector and her aspiration is to be the curator it's like the collector <laughs> so um I'm really, really depending on finding collectibles and everything to kind of help us out. I thought that was one right there, but I was wrong. So I like that the, you know, the nice sidewalk and everything. It's all fancy. And we've got these mansions in the back. 
to kind of inspire us. But basically what happens is we have to start off with this. And actually, we're going to start off with even less than that. What you have to do is go to your sculptures. And this is only in The Sims 4. So if you're doing this in The Sims 3 or The Sims 2, the rules will be different. But because we're limited, this is what we have to do. We have to buy the Knight of the Octagon Table Suit of Armor. And that costs 8,200 simoleons. And we have to place this down. So we are left with 1,800 simoleons. And then because this guy kind of brings off some kind of aura and gives her emotions and everything, we're going to go ahead and just put it in the inventory. And so we have that in there, and we are left with, like, nothing at all. And so what happens is we have to kind of survive off of that, and it's going to be a whole lot of traveling around and trying to find necessities and things to live off of. And then um, we can we can get a job. That is something you can do, so that'll help us as well. And then we have to go find us a man and have them seven freaking babies, which sounds like an absolute nightmare to me. Um, but, hey... At least there's no toddlers. <laughs> At least there's no toddlers. But um, anyway, so we are never allowed to move from this lot. So basically, we start here, we end here. And I think that's it. I know that whenever you have the babies, the traits do have to be randomized. And um, throughout this uh legacy well at least the disney one some of the kids do have to have certain traits if they're going to be the next heir so um i might go back and like have to do that and create a sim like cheating kind of way but um it's okay it's all for the fun of the challenge so yeah i guess we can go ahead and get started I hope there's nothing that I missed. If there is, I'm sorry, and I will go over it later. And then, of course, if we encounter anything along the way, I can always just tell you then. So we're going to go ahead and start. You have to have a wall to have a toilet, and I feel like a toilet is crucial. God. Um, I guess we'll just do a little bitty wall and then go get a toilet. We, we need necessities. I feel like, you know, this is a necessity. I wish we still had those outdoor showers like we did in The Sims 3 from World Adventures because those were nice. I don't think we should buy a shower because we can use different ones on uh, different lots, like at the gym. So we'll just do that for now because I don't want to waste all our money. And we'll, we'll buy a bed. She definitely needs a bed. I, I would love to splurge on the bed. Mm, God, these suck so bad. This one says uncomfortable. Ugh. Let's just go with the one that has dis discomfort relief. This is going to waste so much money. I know. But hey, man. At least she's got a nice bed. <laughs> we'll put it over here. That's not on the same side as the toilet. And she needs something to eat with. So let's get... Is it appliances? A refrigerator. Oh, goodness gracious. We're just going to get a cheap, cheapo one. Again, I don't really feel like putting that next to the toilet <laughs> and what else do we need we have a fridge oh actually instead of getting a fridge which i mean we can do we could just get a countertop and a microwave whichever is cheaper how much is this one all right this is 375 and say we got ourselves just like a little counter and put a microwave on it how much would that be that's 150 plus 240 what is that that's I think that's cheaper. Guys, I can't do math. I I probably am so wrong. Here, let's... 390. Okay, nope. That's more expensive. See, I told you I was wrong. Can't do math for nothing. Anyway, so there's our little fridge. And I think they actually can't eat on their bed. They can just, like, sit on their bed and eat. Which is good for this challenge. Because it makes it a little bit easier on me. And what else can we get while we're here? Probably something to help us make some money. She is creative. Which I kept in mind when making her so we can do something a little bit creative. That's the dining room. We don't need that. Study. Here we go. Let's get some... Oh, can we even... Okay, we can't afford an Esau. Which that took most of our money. I'd like to be able to get some wallpaper for this wall. I don't know how important that is. But, you know, <laughs> appearances are nice. But I do want to get a light. So we'll just get this little cheap light. Just because at night it can get a little dark out here. So we will do that. And now we are left with $65. I don't know if we can afford wallpapers. Oh, we can. Oh, we can. Okay, well this one's $2 if we wanted to get 
this one. We can get a nicer color. Yeah, we can afford it. Blue. Okay, let's make this um short. There we go. Now it doesn't look so ridiculous. Um, we can do. You know, blue really does lighten up the place. We can do purple. <laughs> Might clash with her hair, but you know. Um, we can do a light blue. Oh, the oh, these are all the same colors. Uh, are I mean, <laughs> same colors, same price. My bad. Is this two? Awesome. I just we need some color up in here. Well, the green kind of goes with the grass. It kind of blends. Look at me. I'm I'm totally focusing on things that really don't matter. We're gonna get this teal color uh, because I said so. And yeah, I don't know how much else we can buy. I hope that I hope that does everything we need obviously besides a uh, a shower which we can find elsewhere for the time being and we're gonna get her a job here's our mailbox <laughs> it's the nicest thing we have um the decorations are useless let's see activities and skills can we do anything else I don't think we can afford anything mm. Not really. We can garden. We don't need these. We don't need those little garden planters to garden, which we will be doing. And surfaces, mm, comfort. No, I think we're good. This is our house. It's a mansion. Such a mansion. All right. So I guess first thing is first. Um, let's go ahead and find a job. So let me go through what she is again her traits perfectionist romantic and creative and the reason I chose perfectionist if you're wondering is because um, whenever they do create things they create better quality items and um, they do get upset when it's not good quality which is kind of a bummer but it's okay we can deal so let's go ahead and get a job cuz uh, we need one when they have 50 bucks to our name her outfit does look like we got some fancy pantsies in the in the house but you know whatever it's okay it don't matter I just wanted her to be cute so, again, in some of the um, generations, we have to have, s like, specific jobs and stuff like that to fit the theme. But in this one, I, I believe we can do whatever we want to do. Not that there's that many to choose from at the moment, but here's what we have. So, let's see. She could be she could be a painter. I mean, since we already have the easel. Um, Being a writer would be good too, though, because we could bring in uh, royalties every single day from every book that we write. That would be good too. Hmm, I'm considering that one, which also works in the creative field. So I'm thinking we might do a writer, just because we do get the daily royalties. Um, the job itself doesn't make too too much, but I mean, ooh, the tech guru makes a lot. We'll have to remember that. Yeah, I think we're going to do the writer, just simply because of the royalties, so that's cool. Alright, so she does need to go practice her writing, so we're going to go ahead and go to, where are we going? Travel. Look at our little house, so cute. We's going to travel to somewheres. Um, well, the library has computers. For some reason, I felt like the museum had computers. Uh, I don't think they do. What does the museum have? Just things for your eyes. Pew, 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 pew. Ooh, do I see some men? Do I see some manly men? I do see some manly men. Ew, I, I hate your mustache, though. I hate mustaches. Let's go ahead and just uh, practice writing for a little bit. I wish there was a way to inspire her here. I actually forget like how many ways you can inspire people. And then we might run around and try to get some collectibles. Because they have this here. And then there's also fishing, which is good too. Let's not forget. And... I think that's all we can do for now. We can collect the frogs. And tr we can, um, I don't know if it helps at all, but we can try to breed them. I don't know if that like raises the price of them. Ooh, is that Bob? Oh, Bob, it's okay. Who are we talking to? Jeffrey? <laughs> Not hitting it off. Let's just focus on the writing. Don't worry about that hobo. Haha. <laughs> Ironic that I call him a hobo. We're the hobos. Alright, we're just gonna do this for a second. She just has to practice writing for three hours. Oh, look at this dude. 
Can you imagine, like, red hair mixed with purple hair? What kind of children would we produce? <laughs> He's not bad looking. I, uh, I do have to admit, I have someone in mind. If you watch my LPs, you probably know who it is, because I just recently said that I adore him. I mean, adore him. He is the cutest little dude. He's so cute. But, um, the rest of the generations, they do get pretty cool. If we make it to Generation 10, which will shock me, because that is a really difficult task. I hope we make it, though. That'd be really cool. Um, because I really do want to go through all of the Disney princesses, because I don't know about you guys, but I'm like a Disney fanatic. I love Disney. It's like my life. And so, um, it would be really exciting, I think. Who's this dude? Lee Beal? Oh, I hate, I hate mustaches. Is he old? I can't tell. <laughs> I can't remember if I was... Hmm. I'm trying to remember if you can only marry NPCs or if it has, or if it can be anybody. I know you can't let them bring any money in, though. He's kind of good looking. How you doing? How you do? I can't tell how old they are. It's hard to tell. We're just going to speed this up so we can get through it. Oh, never mind. We are already done. Okay, so... I'm never going to read the... I... Read the bathroom. You go read that bathroom, girl. Wait, where did that guy go? He looked kind of cute. I think it was Mortimer. Actually. <laughs> it was Mortimer. <laughs> what if we hooked up with Mortimer? That would be ridiculous. Ridiculous. I don't think I could handle it. And we're just gonna have her read something really quick because that is her daily task. And like I said, the career is very important at the moment. Very important that we do this. We don't have to read the entire book. We just have to make sure this goes all the way up. Comedy skill? What book are you reading? Comedy volume one. Really? Feeling flirty? Ooh, when Mortimer walked in the room. <laughs> <laughs> instantly left. He was like, oh, this is not for me. <laughs> Crazy girl with purple hair. I don't think I could break him and Bella up. It would break my heart. Because I love them so much. I ship it so hard. They're like my original OTP. <sighs> well, obviously, Sasha OTP is original true pairing. <laughs> so no need to say the word original. I almost done with this, so let's just stop beating this up. Oh, it's Cassandra. Oh, we got the whole goth family at the library today. You almost done? You almost done, boo boo? Boo boo, kachoo? There we go, we're done. Alrighty. So, is anybody else here worth talking to? Who are you? Oh, he's pretty cute. Xavier. Is that how you say it? I'm sure it is. Willingham? Hmm. Let's go do a flirty introduction. Maybe he'll take it. Did we do it? Are we talking to him? Okay. Do a flirty introduction, girl. Use that charm. Use that purple haired charm. Did he totally take it? I think he totally did. Ask, ask about his love life. Okay. Oh, ooh, ooh, he's into it. Let's give him some relationship advice because we totally have all the advice in the world. Toads my goats. He is just sucking this up. Love it. Let's uh, let's get to know him a little bit. Let's see what kind of career he has. He's childish. Okay. Where you going? Where you going, boo boo? Can I ask him about his career? Is it something that we can still do? Hmm. Ooh, what? Where you going? Let's tell him an engaging story. Oh, I was like, what's wrong with her hair? I don't really get this hair color. Let's discuss our interests. Alright, thank you, Xavier. Bachelor number one. He's pretty cute. But I'm telling you, if we run into the other dude, oh, it's going down. Oh, he's a genius. That's pretty good. 
Oh, who's this girl? From Karamusti. Wish I knew. Oh, dag dag. Why is everyone looking so sad? It's okay, guys. You don't gotta be so sad. And uh, now she's hungry. So I think there are some grills out here that we can actually cook on. Which sounds delightful. Let's go over here by these dude. Or by this dude. Only one dude. And let's grill up some, uh... Okay. We're not gonna be doing that. That's expensive. Oh, this person already made some. We will be mooching all off of you. Did y'all see that? Did you see how expensive these things are? 40 bucks, 32 dollars, 39, 32. Like, no thanks. We don't even have... We barely have that much money, so it's like, if we did that, we'd be, like, real broke. Eat it, girl. It's all you got. Who's this dude? He looks old. Oh, she looks cute. She's got our hairstyle. Oh, there's Bella! There's Bella! Sass. So much sass. Oh my god. Oh my god. That was extremely loud. It scared me to death. It's so quiet right here. Everyone's just like, I'm hungry. Oh. He broke the silence. Do you guys like go out to eat with like your family or your friends and like you're all super talkative and then when the food gets there it just gets real quiet because everyone's like nom 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 nom. <laughs> Everyone just shuts up and eats. Shuts up and eats. I don't think I said that right. A whale. All right, we're gonna look for some collectibles while we're out here. Here's some right here. We're gonna dig that one up. And then, just while we're out here, see if we can find some different stuff than at the house. And, uh, oh, can't go anymore this way. Mobby. What are these, a pear tree? Can we harvest anything? Apple tree, no. We can go look for some frogs in here. I don't see any more collectibles. Ah! We found a diamond? Are you freaking kidding me? Whoa. It's only worth 25 simoleons? Are you serious? We're gonna send it in. I mean, it costs money, but maybe it'll benefit us in the end. I don't know. We found a striped leaf frog. I wanna see if we can breed them. Here's some more. And we can't harvest any of these. Onion plant, no. I don't know, we're just gonna speed this up. Oh, we got a dirt frog and a striped. Okay, let's breed with the dirt. And that just made another striped leaf frog. Well, we can't harvest anything. Not yet. Oh, here's another collectible. Here we go. It is part of her aspiration to just collect 10 different collectibles. I guess the frogs do count, so that's good. So we don't have to just try to find these. See what else we got. Oh, that's worth a lot. We're gonna go back home and send in these uh oops, that's not how you do it. Mubby. And we will do some fishing, but uh not right now. We're gonna go ahead and head home first. Run 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 run. You know I'm hungry. <laughs> Every single time I record, I'm like, hey guys, guess what? I'm hungry. Big freaking surprise. <sighs> so we're gonna go ahead and send these things into the Geo Council. And hope that that brings back some more money than uh, we're going to be spending. So let's send to them, and then let's send. That's 40 bucks we just spent, so now we have $17. But we're gonna sell both of these frogs, so that gives us 70 and 35. Oh, we got over $100 in one day. Sweetness! And then, oh, I'm glad the lights help. We're gonna have her go to sleep in her somewhat fancy bed. Good night, honey. And we're going to put that in a hyper speed. And I'm going to go ahead and end this part here. Um, she is going to go and... She's going to go and, She's probably going to go to work tomorrow. So that would be good. But yeah. And she's about to wake up. Man, this hyper speed is like my favorite. At least we live in a nice place. I mean, granted, it looks like this. But... Yes, you may go to the restroom. But I'm going to go ahead and wrap this part up here. I hope you guys are excited for the LP. Because I am thrilled. Feeling super flirtatious, but look, we got all these collectibles over here we can go get and all that stuff. So we'll do that in the next part. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye, everyone.